Okay, tonight is the first of September, two zero one one, and this is the first night we are talking on the Thera Gata. This Thera Gata is the Gata of the Theras. Uh, gata means verses. Uh, Theras are the uh, elder monks. Uh, uh, here referring to the Arahan monks. Uh, and this is the eighth book of the Kudaka Nikaya. These uh, gathas uh, or verses, uh, there are 1,279 of them. Uh, and uh, these verses are very inspiring. Uh, and from listening to these verses, you can see uh, how much effort uh, uh, these arahants use uh, to attain enlightenment. Uh, it was not an easy path uh, for a person to become liberated. Uh, it's extremely difficult. Uh. Mara is very strong. Now uh, we start with the first verse, uh, number one. This is by Subhuti. My small hut is roofed, pleasant, draft free, rain, sky, as you please. My mind is well concentrated, released. I remain zealous or diligent, rain, sky. So. You see, uh, they stay in the forest. Uh, they also have a hut. Uh, because a hut like Aukuti uh, is very convenient for cultivation. Uh, a lot of people, uh, they stay in the Kuti. Uh, they are not content. They still want to go out to practice. Uh. If I suppose I let you practice under the tree, uh, I don't give you the Kuti. Uh, and then you'll be longing for a Kuti. <laughs> Number two, Mahakotika, calm, quiet, speaking in moderation, not conceited. He shakes off evil characteristics as the wind shakes off the leaves of a tree. Oh, you've got to have an extremely strong mind to do that. And number three, Kanka Revata, Revata the doubter. See this wisdom of the Tathagatas, who giving light and vision like a fire blazing in the night. Dispel the doubt of those who come. Number four, by Puna Mantani Putta. There's one sutta where the Buddha asked a monk, I don't know whether it's Ananda. The Buddha asked, who among my Sakyan relatives uh, is a good Dhamma teacher? Uh, and they told him, uh, the best Sakyan Dhamma teacher uh, is Puna Mantani Putta. Uh, I think in Mahayana they have this name also, they call him Fulo No. <laughs> One should associate only with the good, the clever, those who see the goal. Wise, vigilant and discerning, they attain to the goal which is great, profound, hard to see, subtle, fine. Uh, they always, uh, always, uh, uh, these holy men uh, always say, uh, our company, uh, our friends are very important. You associate with the good, you also become a good uh. Uh, you associate with the bad, you also become the bad. This is what nowadays we call peer, peer pressure. Number five is Dabba. He who was hard to tame is tamed by self-taming. He is worthy, Dabba, contented, with doubts overcome, victorious, with fears truly gone. That Dabba is quenched with steadfast self. This could be Dabba the Malian. He has such great, I think he's the one now with such great uh, psychic power and uh, he was appointed uh, by the Sangha to be in charge of Kutis. La. So anytime the monks come, uh, he has to uh, decide which Kuti they go. La. And during the Buddha's time, the monastery was very big, la. maybe a few hundreds of acres. La. So he tell one of them, say, well, uh, sometimes the monk comes at night. Na. I have to show them... Uh, to the Kuti, eh, which is the other side of the hill. So, uh, he's in meditation, meditation, and then they come, and then, uh, and then, uh, probably he, he, will, uh, ask them to wait a while, uh, and then he enters Samadhi, eh, and then he used the Samadhi, eh, to, he, he, to, to, to light up his finger, you know, and then he used his finger like a torchlight, eh, he bring them uh, by the light of his finger across the hill uh, to the Kuti. Uh. 
So when the news spread uh, that he has this kind of psychic power, uh, the monks purposely come at night <laughs> to see. <laughs> Number six, uh, Sitavanya. The monk, the monk who went to Sitavana is alone, contented with concentrated self, victorious with excitement gone, guarding the mindfulness concerned with the body, possessed of resolution. These arahants, they always stay alone to attain liberation. Number seven, Baliya. He who has thrust away the army of King Death as a great flood pushes back a very weak bridge of reeds, is victorious with fears truly gone, tamed, quenched with steadfast self. Number eight, Vira. He who was hard to tame is tamed by self-taming. He is a hero, Vira, contented, with doubts overcome, victorious, with excitement truly gone, that Vira is quenched with steadfast self. Linda Vacha. Linda Vacha, I think, may be the Arahan, uh, who calls the other monks, uh, Parya, Parya. <laughs> um, number nine. It has come, it has not departed, nor was that bad advice to me. Among the things shared out among men, I obtained the best, uh, the best advice, uh, taught the Dhamma. I think we went across, we came across that sutta, uh, where Belinda Vacha was calling all the monks Pariya, and uh, when they complained to the Buddha, the Buddha contemplated the past, uh, and said for 500 lifetimes, uh, he was born as a Brahmin. So Brahmins, uh, they're very proud of their caste and look down on all other castes. That's why I call other people Pariya. Something like that, I uh, may not be the exact word Pariya, uh, but this is what we use. Uh. Number 10, uh, Puna Masa. Whoever, having attained to knowledge, being quiet, with self-restraint, destroys longing for this world or the next. He, not clinging to all phenomena, would know the arising and passing away of the world. This world or the next refers to this life or the next life. Uh, number 11, uh, Chula Gavacha. A monk who has much joy in the Dhamma taught by the Buddha would attain to the peaceful state, the happy calming of the constituent elements. Maha Gavacha, number 12. Uh, having strength through wisdom, possessed of vows, vata, and virtuous conduct, sila, concentrated, delighting in meditation, possessed of mindfulness, eating whatever food is proper, one should await one's time here, with desire gone. So when they have finished their work, uh, they just wait uh, for the time to enter Nibbana, and uh, to them, uh, entering Nibbana is like the salary they get uh, for all their work. uh. Reaping the reward. Number 13, Vana Vacha. Those rocks delight me, the color of the blue clouds, beautiful, with cool waters and pure streams, covered with Inda Gopaka insects. Uh, so this manga uh, must be living up in the hills. Uh, uh, the, what, there's uh, water flowing uh, and rocks and can see the clouds. You know. Number 14, Vanavacha's pupil. My preceptor said to me, let us go from here, Sivaka. My body dwells in the village. My mind has gone to the forest. Even though I am lying down, I shall go there. There is no attachment for those who know. So maybe even though he has to go to the village, uh, but his mind is not attached to the village. Uh. Number 15, Kunda Dana. One should cut off five, one should abandon five, one should especially develop five. A monk who has gone beyond the five attachments is called a flood crosser. I think we came across something like this eh, one or two nights ago. Uh, cut off five means uh, cut off the five lower factors. Eh, and then abandon five eh, is the five higher factors. Eh, and develop five, eh, develop the five faculties. Eh, and the five attachments, I should refer to the five aggregates. Number 16, Balata Sisa. Just as a noble thoroughbred with swishing tail and mane goes with little difficulty, 
So for me, the days and nights go with little difficulty, and spiritual happiness has been obtained. When we are happy, eh, the time seems to go by very fast. You know? When we are not happy, eh, the days and nights eh, go by very slowly. You know? mm. And then at night, eh, if you are unhappy and you can't sleep, eh, uh, it's uh, quite a torture. Mm. Number 17, Dasaka. When he is lazy and a glutton, a sleeper who rolls as he lies, like a great hawk or pig eh, fed on grain, the food comes to the womb again and again. So to the Arahans, uh, a person who likes to sleep uh, is a fool, uh, wasting the time. Number 18, Singala Pitta. There was a monk, an heir of the Buddha, in the Besakala forest. He suffused this whole earth with the contemplation of the skeleton notion. Very quickly, I think, he will get rid of desire for sensual pleasures. So this monk is practicing uh, contemplation of the skeleton. If he continues, uh, then he will get rid of sensual desire. Mm. Kula, number 19. uh, Truly, canal makers lead water, arrow makers bend the bow, carpenters bend wood, men of good vows tame the self. 20. Ajita. I have no fear of death, I have no longing for life. Attentive and mindful, I shall abandon the body. Uh, let's finish his work, uh, waiting for the time. 21. Nigroda. I am not afraid of fear. Our teacher is well skilled in the undying, or in the deathless. Uh, where fear does not remain, there by the eightfold path the monks go. Uh, our teacher must be the Buddha. Uh, 22. Chitaka. Blue. With beautiful necks, the crested peacocks call in Karamvi. Urged on by the cool breeze, they awaken the sleeper to meditation. This one, Arahans, although Arahans sleep, uh, they don't sleep like ordinary people. Uh. Arahans are mindful 24 hours a day. Uh. Uh, it's uh, in the Vinaya books. Uh, it's stated, uh, you cannot fault an Arahan at all uh, because he's mindful all the time. 23, uh, Gosala, having eaten honey and rice in Velu Gumba, skillfully comprehending the arising and passing away of the elements of existence, I shall return to my hillside, devoting myself to seclusion. Uh, so these monks, uh, they have to come down to the village uh, to beg for their food. Uh, and after they, they get their food, uh, they go out of the village or, or the town, uh, and then they go to a quiet place, uh, uh, and they eat their food. Uh, and then after that, uh, uh, then they, if they are living up the hill, uh, normally they will eat their food first, uh, because walking up the hill uh, is very tiring. Uh. Many years ago, uh, I stayed in uh, in a hill, uh, uh, a distance from Balik Pulau. Uh. So I walked down and walked up. Uh, it took me three hours, uh, and on an empty stomach, uh, it was very tiring. Uh. So halfway up, uh, I'll be eating. <laughs> no energy already. Uh, but eating means uh, you take the, the, the sweet things lah, like banana and all these fruits uh, just to give you quick energy. Uh. 24, Suganda. I went forth after, after keeping one rainy season. See the essential rightness of the Dhamma. The three knowledges have been obtained. The Buddha's teaching has been done. He said he went forth after keeping one rainy season. Possibly yeah, he was a Samanera or, no, or, or a lay, layman uh, staying in the monastery, uh, one, uh, one vassal. Uh, and after that uh, he ordained. Uh, and then after that he practiced hard uh, and he attained the three knowledges. Uh. 25. Nandia. Attacking such a monk whose mind is like splendor, constantly fruitful, you will come to grieve, Kanha. Kanha is the black one, probably referring to Mara. Hmm. 26. Abhaya. Hearing the well-spoken utterance of the Buddha, the kinsman the kinsmen of the sun, uh, Angira, Sasa, Angira Sasa, I pierce a subtle thing indeed, as one pierces the tip of a hair with an arrow. Uh, so after he heard the Buddha's teaching, uh, then he probably attained enlightenment. Ah, 27. 
Lumasa Gang Lumasa Kangia. With my chest I thrust aside Daba grass and Kusa grass and Potakila grass and Usira and Munja grass and bulrushes devoting myself to seclusion. So this monk, uh, to go to his uh, secluded place, uh, he has to pass through all these tall grasses. Uh, 28. Jambu Gamika San. Are you not intent on clothes? Do you not delight in adornments? Do you, not other folk, send forth this odor of virtue? Mm, this one, I'm not sure what he's, uh, or who he's talking to. 29. Harita. Making the self erect. Making your mind straight as an arrow maker makes an arrow straight. Break ignorance to pieces, Harita. So he is probably uh, encouraging himself, uh, talking to himself uh, to get encouragement. Uh, 30. Uttia. When illness arose in me, mindfulness arose in me. Illness has arisen in me. It is time for me to be vigilant. So illness uh, is like a deva messenger. Uh. Uh, telling you, uh, uh, reminding you of impermanence. Uh, so there's a time uh, to practice uh, more. Uh. Mm, 2031. Uh, Gavaratiriya. Tormented by gnats and mosquitoes in the forest, in the great wood, like an elephant in the van of the battle, one should endure there mindful. So you see, uh, they don't have... a uh, a kuti like we have uh, with mosquito netting and all that. Uh, then all the nets and mosquitoes will come and disturb them. Uh, not so easy to practice. Uh. Sometimes like in one sutta we saw uh, the Buddha was sitting with the rope covered over the whole head, uh, the whole body. Uh. 32. Supya. I shall exchange the aging for agelessness, the burning for quenching, for the highest peace, for unsurpassed rest from exertion. So, he's saying uh, the aging, uh, when you have a self, uh, you have the self-aging. But when you have no self, uh, then there's no aging. And the burning is the burning of the passions. Uh, and when a person becomes liberated, uh, he has quenched the passions. Uh, no more passions disturbing. Uh, and that's the highest peace. Uh, 33, so Paka. Just as a woman would be good towards her beloved only son. So one should be good to all living creatures everywhere. Mm. When a person becomes an Arya, then uh, he realizes that all beings are like us. Uh, so, as Meta towards all beings. 34. Posia. These women are always best when not approached by one who knows. Coming from the village to the forest, from there I entered the house. Rising up from there, I, who deserve to be fed, Posia. Went out without having taken my leave. Women are always best when not approached by one who knows. Mm. Not so sure about this. But after he took his meal, then he just left. Some of them, they don't like to talk. 35. Samanya Kani. Practicing this, he who seeks happiness gains happiness and obtains glory. His fame increases who develops the noble eightfold path, straight, direct path for the attainment of the undying. 36. Kuma Putta. Hearing is good, action is good, the homeless life is always good, the questioning of the goal, doing what is skillful, this is the ascetic state for one who has nothing. This questioning of the goal, probably investigating, uh, so that you... Uh, and aim well. 37. Kumaputta's companion. They go to different countries, wandering unrestrained. If they lose concentration, what good will this bad conduct do? Therefore, one should dispel pride. One should meditate undistracted. Mm. Instead of wandering here and there, eh, it's best eh, to stay in one place eh, and fight. Eh. Yeah. The fight eh, with Mara is inside. Uh, it's not to do with outside. 38. Gavampati. That Gavampati, who by his supernormal power made the river Rabu stand fast, is unfettered and unmoved. The devas revere that great sage who has surpassed all attachments and reached the far shore of existence. 
So this Gavampati, uh, his super normal power is very great. Uh, he can make the river stop flowing. Tisa 39. A monk should wander about as though smitten by the sword, with his head on fire, as it were, mindful of the abandonment of desire for sensual pleasures. Uh, so if a monk uh, has not attained enlightenment, uh, he should uh, remember that... Uh, because of impermanence, uh, she always thinks uh, the head is on fire, uh, any time can die. Uh, so practice uh, hard to abandon desire or craving. Uh. Number 40, vad, Vadamana. A monk should wander about as those smitten by the sword, with his head on fire as it were, mindful of the abandonment of desire for existence. Uh person understands the Dhamma only, uh, he can abandon this desire for life. Uh. 41. Siri Vada. The flashes of lightning fall upon the cleft of Vebara and Pandava, but go on to the cleft in the mountain. The son of the incomparable, venerable one meditates. Uh. So this uh, lightning is flashing all over the hills. Uh. Uh, but this monk, uh, he goes into this cleft or this cave in the mountain to meditate. 42. Kadira Vanya. Chala, Upachala, Sisu Pachala. Now indeed remain mindful. One has come to you like a hair piercer. Mm, so these three also have attained enlightenment. 43. Sumangala. Well read, well read. Very well read am I of the three crooked things. Well read are the sickles of me. Well read are the ploughs of me. Well read are the curved spades of me. Even if they are here, here, even so, enough of them, enough. Meditate, Sumangala. Meditate, Sumangala. Remain vigilant, Sumangala. So this Sumangala, uh, he has become a monk. Uh, probably he was formerly a farmer. Uh. So his sickles, his ploughs and his spades, all uh, he's abandoned. Uh. And he's reminding himself uh, to practice hard, uh, to meditate. 44. Sanu. Mother, they weep for one who is dead, or for one who, although alive, is not seen. Why, mother, do you weep for me, who am both alive and seen? This one, there's this uh, sutta, probably in the Sangyutta Nikaya, where this Sanu, uh, after becoming a monk, uh, he thought of disrobing. And then it seems a Yaka, who was his previous life mother, entered him. And he became uh, like uh, delirious and out of control of himself. So when the mother saw that, that he was possessed, uh, the mother was weeping, uh, cried. Uh, and then he woke up and he saw the mother uh, crying. Uh, and then he asked the mother, why are you crying here? Mm. 45. Ramani, Ramaniya Viharin. This is a noble thoroughbred, having stumbled stands firm again. So should you consider me as one possessed of insight, a disciple of the fully enlightened one, the Buddha's own thoroughbred son. Ah, so he's saying ah, he's become enlightened. 46. Ah, Samidhi. In faith I went forth from the home to the homeless state. My mindfulness and wisdom have increased. My mind is well concentrated. Make shapes as you please. You will not frighten me. So probably Mara come to frighten him, making all kinds of different forms. But he says he will not be frightened. 47. Ujjaya. Homage to you, enlightened hero. You are completely released in every respect. Living in the field of your achievement, I live without asavas, without uh, uh, uncontrolled mental outflows. 48. Sanjaya. Since I went forth from the home to the homeless state, I have not been aware of having any ignoble, hate-ridden intentions. 49. Ramanyaka. Amidst the sound of chirping and the cries of the birds, this mind of mine does not waver, for devotion to solitude is mine. So he enjoys his solitude. And being in the forest, uh, he can hear the sound of a lot of birds. Uh. 50. Vimala. The earth is sprinkled. The wind blows. Lightning flashes in the sky. My thoughts are quietened. My mind is well concentrated. So his mind uh, is uh, 
concentrated. Uh, yes, no disturbing thoughts. Uh, 51, Godika. The sky rains melodiously. My small hut is roofed, pleasant, draft-free, and my mind is well concentrated. So rain, sky, if you wish. 52, Subahu. The sky rains melodiously. My small hut is roofed, pleasant, draft-free, and my mind is well concentrated on my body. So rain, sky, if you wish. 53, Valia. The sky rains melodiously. My small hut is roofed, pleasant, draft-free. I live in it vigilant. So rain, sky, if you wish. 54, Uttia. The sky rains melodiously. My small hut is roofed, pleasant, draft-free. I live in it without companion. So rain, sky, if you wish. 55. Anjana Vanya. Making a small hut, plunging into the Anjana forest, I dwelt there. The three knowledges have been obtained. The Buddha's teaching has been done. 56. Kuti Viharin. Who is in the small hut? A monk is in the small hut, with desire gone, with well-concentrated mind. Thus no, friend, your small hut was not made in vain. So this friend uh, was probably somebody uh, who made the hut for him. Uh, he's telling him uh, that uh, uh, he should have a lot of blessings uh, for making this hut, uh, and he can attain a concentrated mind. Um, 57. Kuti Viharin. This was your old hut. You desire another new hut. Discard the hope of a hut. A new hut will be painful again, monk. 58. Ramanya Kuttika. My small hut is pleasant, a gift of faith, delightful. I have no need of girls. Go there, women, to those who have need. Maybe some women came to him in the, in the hut. 59. Ko Sala Viharin. In faith I went forth. I made a small hut in the forest, and I am vigilant, zealous, attentive, mindful. 60. Sivali. My intentions, which I had as my goal when I entered the hut, have prospered. Abandoning the propensity to pride, I shall come to the knowledges and to release. 61. Vappa. The seeing one sees the seeing one, and sees the non-seeing one too. The non-seeing one does not see the non-seeing one, nor the seeing one. In the suttas, the Buddha said, uh, a wise man uh, can judge a fool, uh, and a wise man can also judge another wise man. But a fool uh, cannot judge a fool, and a fool also cannot judge a wise man. Uh, so this is probably what it means here. 62. Vajiputta. We dwell alone in the forest like a tree rejected in a wood. Many envy me as hell dwellers envy one going to heaven. 63. Paka. Passed away they fall. Fallen and being greedy, they have come again. What was to be done is done. What was to be enjoyed is enjoyed. Happiness has been attained by happiness. Happiness has been attained by the happiness of jhana. 63. Vimala Kondanya. I was born of the tree named one. Begotten by the bright bannered one, the banner killer has destroyed the bearer of the great banner by means of the banner. Mm, so I'm not so sure of what. 65. Uke Pakata Vacha. Well poised, full of noble joy. He preaches to householders that which has been collected by heap made Vacha over many years. This heap made uh, probably refers to the rope. Uh. Some monks, uh, they pick the cloth uh, from the heap of rubbish uh, uh, to make their rope. 66. Magia. The great hero, having reached the far shore of all phenomena, counseled me. Hearing his Dhamma, I dwell in his presence, mindful. The three knowledges have been obtained. The Buddha's teaching has been done. 67. Eka Dhamma Savanya. My defilements have been burnt up. All existences have been rooted out. Journeying on from rebirth to rebirth is completely annihilated. There is now no more existence. 
So you see the arahants, uh, when they finish their work, uh, they know uh, there's no more existence for them. Uh, their consciousness uh, will never take rebirth again. Uh, but the Mahayana books say differently. Uh, 